but it's the slides number are somehow so today we are going to discuss about the crystallization and deformation and it's their relationship what is the relationship between crystallization and deformation so it's given by Dharini Sinha of NIT Raipur thing so let's get started so <coughs> So what is crystallization? Crystallization is the solidification of atoms and molecules into a highly structured form called crystal. So crystallization means basically formation of crystal. So what is crystal? Highly structured form. See, crystallization of magma. How crystallization of magma? It's cooling. It's cooling. This is Bond's reaction series. Opa Bohr M Q is continuous series. It's NAPG CAPG. Okay. <coughs> introduction of crystallization the formation and growth of crystals either form a melt or in a solid medium metamorphic mineral growth involves principal processes so the first one is nucleation it is the initial steps in which atoms and molecules become arranged in a characteristic pattern what are the formation of growth of crystal the first is nucleation then crystal growth addition of ions onto the existing nuclear is growth of the crystal after the formation of the nucleus this is one nucleus then nucleus then nucleus then nucleus then nucleus, then nucleus this. so this is a crystal okay then diffusion 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 of chemical species and heat through the surrounding medium to and form the surface of the diffusion of chemical species and heat so what is diffusion diffuse catching okay catching or giving diffusion species and heat through the surrounding medium which what will they form they will form the surface how the crystal will look like they will form the surface they will form the surface of the crystal what diffusion next the word deformation literally means change in form deformation we know deformation formation breaking then again change deformation can be defined as transformation of a body from an initial to a final geometry by means of translational rotational and distortional movement which is also known as strain Deformation means transformation of a body from an initial to a final by means of translation, rotation, or distortion and anything, any any side or general as strain. Okay. Then here in simple terms it can also define as the process by which displacement are accomplished. This is this is so how many displacement how many angle it changed how many amount is known as displacement amount okay how much how much it change how much it angles change how much it extended how much it shortened this can all all are got from the displacement So deformation are of two types rigid body and non rigid body the rigid body a type of deformation in which the distance between any two points of the body remains same this this means the width so this is a square after deformation it will remain a square okay so this distance in this distance is same it will remain same but in deformation is the opposite the distance the square will change to rhombus that way so this is also a deformation yes <laughs> this is this is a rigid body deformation but this is this this is changed 
is changed. This one should be that is changed. Okay, so it's non rigid body. So rigid body has translation. Is is given in the second diagram. So in the translation, what is translation? Is present here. Just move here. No thing change. A rotation. A displaced. So this is this rotation. Just rotate. Okay, just rotation. All the squares, all the small squares remain small squares. Here, all the small square remains small squares. So this is a rigid body deformation. Then we have the non-rigid body. What? Dilation. Dilation means volume change. See, this is the initial one. This is a dilated. This is the square is the square size is small. Is short. The square size increases. This is the square size. Okay. And then this is distortion. The body shows change in shape. Its shape change. Its shape is change. The square are now become rhombus. Shape changes. So these are non-rigid body. Okay, non non-rigid body deformation. Then what? Is, what is the time relation between? So this given some questions. What is the time relation between crystallization and deformation? What is the significance of learning? Why would need to learn the deformation and crystallization mm, relationship? Try to understand the types of microstructures. So, why? In order to understand the types of microstructure formed in the crystal due to deformation, we need to understand the relation between time, crystallization, and deformation okay. so what is the time relation it, so relationship between crystallization and deformation it is respect to time is it is the deformation of time of formation of a structure with reference to the time of crystallization of metamorphic mineral so it is the determination of time of formation of a structure structure with reference to the time of crystallization of metamorphic mineral so in metamorphic mineral you get what happened they are very complex first it got distorted and then again formed okay so a reference to the time of crystallization of metamorphic mineral the crystallization of a mineral can either be synchronous or go in hand on hand or later than the deformation or can be formed after the deformation occurs okay so the three time relations are described pre crystalline para crystalline and post crystalline pre means before the crystallization pre crystalline deformation before the crystallization deformation occur go in hand on hand and post after deformation okay so why we need to learn what are the importance we study the structure of different age stages of evolution which can be recognized by various method one such method is used to such study with the time relation between crystallization and deformation its method is important to relative dating technique of the structure in order to determine the time of the structure time relation between crystallization and deformation is very much important yes structure is there so how can we determine the whether it's formed before the crystallization or after the crystallization yes from this study we can find the relative dating technique okay relative is relation with this So time relation between crystallization and deformation 
we are going to understand that this time relation between crystallization and deformation with the help of porphyroblast so these are porphyroblast big crystals porphyroblast and this is ground mass well uh, okay porphyroblast a porphyroblast is a large mineral crystal in a metamorphic rock within a finer green matrix within a fine green matrix porphyroblasts are present they are formed by recrystallization of existing mineral during metamorphism recrystallization see It's not the initial. They are not from what we got from the igneous or yes. They are recrystallized. They are break, then again crystallized. Okay, they are recrystallized during the metamorphic process. It is very important. Porphyroblast. Porphyroblast of various minerals have parallel trails and trains of inclusions of ground mass minerals. These trails and trains of inclusion are relics of surface bedding or cleavage. The trails of inclusion within the porphyroblast is C or mm, SI internal surface or internal cystosity internal cystosity and the trails of inclusion inclusion means inclusion means extra so where where will you get inclusion where if they are present within the porphyroblast within the porphyroblast then we will say that the internal cystosity parallel trails trails trends the cystosity and if they are present in the ground mass then we will say that external external cystosity okay so time relation between crystallization and deformation so there are three types para para pre para and post we are using the term microstructure in order to discern the small scale microstructure textures which are formed during the due to deformation during not during the yes pre crystalline deformation which can also be stated as pre crystalline post tectonic crystallization after tectonic crystallization occurs not pre crystalline deformation in pre crystal deformation the crystallization of porphyroblast occurs after the deformation after deformation yes up uh, pre crystalline then deformation Oh, sorry, sorry. The <sighs> God, the crystallization. In pre-crystalline deformation, the crystallization of porphyroblast occurs after the deformation. Say in pre-crystalline, which is also can post tectonic, the crystallization of porphyroblast occurs after the deformation. Say shows microstructure having SI straight lines, straight SI. These are SI parallel to more or less straight cleavage of ground mass, which clearly indicate that uh, that the crystallization of porphyroblast was after the development of the cleavage. Here, the internal cleavage is equal to. <coughs> so 
so the crystallization occur is deformation deformation after that crystallization occur crystallization occur okay. SI Achya. so since C is the ground mass and it is not deformed it is not deformed e pre crystalline is not deformed it is as it is See, it's the. This is also same. It's not deformed. Since it occurs after the deformation, so this is not deformed. Okay. So internal cleavage is equal to external cleavage. This is the cleavage. This is equal since it doesn't deformed. Okay. Then helitic. Pre-crystalline C. That is the porphyry bars in some rocks are undergone crenulation in the cleavage. Crenulation in the cleavage, and same crenulation will be seen in the S E. So S I having crenulation. Yes. A form as the. If outside is crenulation, then inside will be crenulation. Will be since it's deformed. Okay. Polygonal arc. Polygonal arc are unstrated mix. Mica flex that retained to form old micro fold. The micro structure shows that the fold are formed before the crystallization. Yes, see. The micas are parallel, are parallel, is not arced, but the original structure is arced. Yes, since they are formed after the deformation, they are not affected by the deformation. Okay, they are not affected. Okay, we will continue. The microcrystalline developed porphyrins grow at the same time it rotates with respect to the orientation. They are Synchronous, going in hand by hand, on hand on hand, okay, and so see, its deformation is deformation also, its deformation is deformation, its deformation is deformation, its deformation is deformation, okay, and the post crystalline, everything get changed, created by following the straight S is discordant with S E. See, this is this. In post the crystallization occurs after deformation. The body get deformed after that crystallization will occur. So it will trend its own way. Own way. This will no the external cleavage. External cleavage will not equal to the external one. This is post crystalline. Post crystalline. Okay. So this is. On hand on and synchronous pre para this is para crystalline okay this are this is para crystalline is going hand on hand this is post crystalline see deformation occurs but after after it it gets changed it after crystallization and this is pre crystalline this is post crystalline sorry this is pre crystalline see deformation after crystallization so it's not changing yet okay thank you it's all about the uh, relation between crystallization and deformation very good ppt very good thank you